All right, here's goal four. Let's check out what happens. All right, so I'm starting to see some trends here now when you watch all of these in a row. Um, you get it with Jitnik, and uh, you get that blue line, and you just find a little bit of space there, right at the top of the blue line. Exactly. I'm just buying time. The, 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 the slot's pretty clogged up. There's three guys in it. There's a fourth just to the right of it. No easy pass lanes. Gretzky's in front of the goalie, so I can't really use him as an atlas. I'm just going to wait for my guys to reset, so let's go ahead and roll it for a little bit while they reset and get better positioning. Okay, so... Then I, I this this begs a couple questions here. So number one, this sure. def, this defensive style in a nutshell, you have to treat differently than if the guy's blasting C checks at you constantly, right? Because, I mean, if I wasn't sitting in the slot here, I would be trying to check you right now. Absolutely. Um, it, with with the way that you're playing right now, me going into the slot would just be kind of me creating my own trouble because that's where you are. Why would I skate into you when you're in a really good spot to defend me? Um, if you're coming after me with C checks, like some other people might, I would probably be doing this a little bit differently. I wouldn't necessarily just be trying to gain the zone with my defenseman. I'd probably actually cycle the puck back to Blake in my own zone first, then try to find a winger to gain the zone because I would view that as, a, view that as less risky because then I have both defensemen in a better position to, to guard against the counter. Because a lot of what I'm doing here against these teams is just trying to stifle their own offense. And then the longer I have the puck, the more likely they are to make a mistake. That's all I'm really trying to do here is create my own offense by making them make a mistake. Hmm. Okay, so, and being on just inside the blue line like that with your defense is, like, this this area up here, is that a, I mean, the AI is not really going to be bothering you too much either? Well, I think you might be controlling Flurry, who would normally man that area, so I'm even oh. more inclined to just sit there. There's less of a likelihood of the center coming out to, to grab me, especially with Sandstrom kind of already in the slot. Like, he has a better reason to be there where if Sandstrom wasn't in the slot, he might be more likely to shade over towards me with with Jitnik. Okay, so do you do you keep an eye on what a uh, what player your opponent takes, whether it be a forward, a wing, or a defender? Absolutely. If I have the ability to notice what's going on, and if I happen to be in that area or I can access it quickly, I will try to do that to create an imbalance in the defense. Excellent. Okay, so let's roll this here, and I'll try to pause at the important moments. <laughs> Okay, so I think what happens here is you realize you have it with your guy that you actually want to be taking the one-timer eventually. So you're looking to ditch it off so that uh, Sandstorm can go set up in the slot, correct? Exactly. Outside of a, a quick shot, a slap shot, which, I mean, I could probably try it from here, but, I mean, it'd be a slow wind-up. The defense would have time to react. So, And then, again, my team's not really in a great spot to necessarily play against counter attacks here. So, yeah, just take the open ice and, and wait for something better to open up. There's no reason to rush here. Okay, so I think with, with this defender heading looking towards the slot, I see you're probably looking to go down, down deep here. Absolutely. He's got a great uh, stick angle to take that pass. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be in his seat, most likely, and then Granada does take it cleanly. So now I have a chance to, to reevaluate here with Sandstrom moving back in towards the middle. And that defender in the slot, that the, not the one you're manning, but the one above and to the right of it near the, yeah, that one right there. Yep. He's kind of looking the other way and skating the other way. So hopefully Sandstrom goes up to above the faceoff dots in between them. And I should have a clear passing, line, which I do. Yeah, so it looks like my guy with Flurry didn't really stay where he needed to as well. Oh, he got bumped. Sandstrom pushed, made some space. <laughs> yeah, he's got the big check butt. That, check that he's out. That's, pounder. that's funny, yeah. That's that's a real NHL goal right there. You you push off the guy and then you get get space for the one timer. Matthews loves to do that on the Leafs. Yeah, and and with the weights in this game, it actually makes it easier for Sandstrom to push off of Fleury in that situation. So Fleury's gonna kind of go yeah flying the way he did towards the goal. Sandstrom buys himself the space because he's not getting knocked down or anything, and and it's just an easy tap in at that point because the passing lane is is clear as day. And Very it's cool. just Yeah, Very you cool. got to be patient, and those things will eventually open up. All right, let's check out goal five here. <laughs> 